People that are legislating these trans kids have no grasp of what a trans experience is. With the support of her parents, Willow Brashear started transitioning when she was 14 years old. She's 18 now, getting her diploma in May, and wants to be a community organizer. Trans people are so much more than our trauma. We have so much to offer. We are beautiful. We are sacred. Growing up in rural Arkansas, I never really had the language to describe um, who I knew myself to be. Hearing about this bill, what do you think it means for a younger Willow? Or what do you think it will mean for other trans kids? If this bill gets signed in to law, we know that the suicide rates are going to rise. And most of all, it just sends a clear message to trans kids that Arkansas does not want them here and Arkansas does not value them. The ban on health treatments for trans youth passed Monday. In a press briefing Tuesday, Governor Hutchinson said he hasn't made a decision on signing it yet. I have some time before I have to make a decision whether to sign it or take other action on it. I've got a number of appointments uh, in which uh, I'm listening to people and meeting with them to learn more about it and hear their views. The bill created an outcry across the country. Celebrity like Laverne Cox even speaking with the Arkansas ACLU. The access to health care has saved their lives. When trans kids aren't allowed to transition earlier in life, the suicide rates are like astronomical. They almost triple. What do you think is people's opposition to receiving medical access in order to transition? In places like Arkansas, um, there's no competent education for LGBTQ people. Um, there's a lack of visibility. There's a lack of understanding. And we are in the Bible Belt. Jade Jackson, THV 11 News.